This is a video about Visio 2010 freeform lines and shapes. And this will be a tutorial. The uh, freeform shapes and lines uh, come under the uh, shapes and lines menu. You can just select freeform. And uh, the line is just um, hold down the uh, mouse button and you can draw the line. And you can see uh, this comes up with a number of points along the line and these points can be dragged by just uh, going, clicking on them and dragging them off to one part. In addition, uh, points can be added by holding down the control key and that not only adds uh, points but it also puts some uh, control handles in place where that's done. You can hold down the uh, control and shift keys and Zoom in on this a bit, and here you can see uh, where this point was added, and dragging the control handles, and here's the actual point itself. So this gives us the uh, ability to do some manipulation with the line, and then the other points uh, can be selected this or this one and those points can be deleted so it's possible to uh, change uh, this uh, line once it's been put in as well as freeform lines uh, we have also the possibility of doing a uh, freeform shape and that can be uh, a question of just taking a freeform line and bringing it back to the beginning and that becomes a solid shape you can see how the, this is filled in it's also possible to uh, start out with uh, straight lines and just uh, use these up to a point and then change over to a freeform line and then finish the shape. Like that. So that shape becomes a combination of freeform line and straight line. Now once these uh, shapes are formed they can be filled in uh, a different way. And so this um, comes a way to create these type of objects that can be shaded uh, whatever else. So one um, useful thing for um, using the freeform line is uh, when you have a drawing object and you're trying to uh, indicate that the uh, object is longer than what it's shown as on the drawing. So you're trying to do a break in it and uh, that can be done by just uh, going across the object like that and taking that same line, just dragging it down a little ways and then completing the line, make it into an object like that. And do the same thing with the other line. Then highlighting the original object, coming down the control key, selecting the other two, and then going here to the shape operations and subtract. You can see now how that has. Um, Give me that broken effect in the object, and yet when you select it, you still get the whole thing. So you have the two um, parts of it there in the same same shape. And so that would be a way of doing that. So that's basically it uh, for uh, freeform shapes and objects.
For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.